Assalamu alaikum, hello everyone. I'm gonna solve some topical questions, paper 4, topic 4, stoichiometry, IGCSE chemistry, so let's begin. Number 1, here we have uh, many organic compounds such as alcohols, carboxylic acids and esters, contain the elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen only. A. Compound R has the following composition by mass. C is 60%, as you see. So we need this number as a mass, the care. And H is 13.33%. O oxygen is 26.67%. So calculate the empirical formula of compound R. So guys, to calculate the empirical formula, actually we need a consequence of steps to do it. So I advise everyone to copy uh, this table because I think it will be really helpful for every one. So the first step, actually we need these steps to calculate the empirical formula. It's so easy. So here is the first step is to put the elements we have. So elements here, we have carbon, we have hydrogen and we have oxygen. So first of all, we put here C and then here we have hydrogen H and then here we have oxygen O. So they are the elements that combine. Now, second step is to copy masses, the mass of every one according to the question. So for carbon, it's 60%. So in this case, we take 60% at 60 grams. So masses now is 60 grams. And for H, as you see, is H 13.33. So... 13.33 grams and finally oxygen is 26.67 so 26.67 grams so here we covered the masses according to the ratio so I told you guys so we can copy the ratio directly as a mass no problem because it's the same ratio so the same mass so let's go through the next steps so here we should bring the er which is relative atomic mass for each other how can we get it of course it's easy to get it from a copy of periodic table so just we have here carbon as you see and we have hydrogen second one and here we have oxygen so which number expresses the relative atomic mass? Is it the upper one or the lower one? Here is, this is the key, as you see, guys. I think this key is easy. And whatever, if you don't have a key, so of course, the relative atomic mass is going to be the bigger number. And here we have 6, 12, so 12 is relative atomic mass. Here we have 8, 16, so 16 is the relative atomic mass. In case of hydrogen, it's the same, 1, 1, so it's 1 down. And here it's written here, Atomic number, this is the one up, and here the one bottom, it's called relative atomic mass or AR. Okay, so let's take carbon. So AR for carbon is 12, and then for hydrogen is 1, and then for oxygen is 16. So we copy these numbers. So for carbon, it's 12, for hydrogen, it's 1, for oxygen, it's 16. So it's easy to copy from. Now let's move to the number of moles. In case of number of moles, guys, it's easy to just take these numbers, the mass which is mentioned in the question, divided the relative atomic mass. So this one, in this case, so number of moles is going to be 60 divided 12. And here we have 13.33 divided 1. And in case of oxygen, we have 26.67 divided 16. So I took only the masses mentioned, divided the relative atomic mass. And then we use our calculator in order to calculate that. So I do it with you now, guys. So the first one is, I think 60 divided 12, it's easy, it's 5. I think it's clear. It's 5. And if this one divided 1, I think it's clear as well, it's the same number, it's going to be 13.33. 
and for the last one it will give you uh, too long number because you have so many decimal places 1.666 blah blah so we can make approximation to be 1.67 okay so we will get 1.666 so this is approximately 1.62 decimal places as you see okay guys so what is the next step the next step is to make the ratio here is the ratio. how can we make the ratio actually again to make the ratio we need to uh, take the uh, smaller number here so here you have five number of months here is five and here it's 13.33 and here it's 1.67 so which one is the smallest one guys five or 13.33 or 1.67 so basically it's 1.67 so we take this number to be down now to make the ratio so 1.67 sorry 67 and put 5 up and then here the same 13.33 divided 1.67 and here the same we take 1.67 divided itself 1.67 so i think it's clear guys that we took this 1.67 because this is the smallest number and put it down in all of them okay so this one will be one of course as you see this is one and here five so it's gonna be actually in my calculator now it's gonna be like 2.9 blah 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 so approximately it's a three and here this is gonna be like uh, 13.33 divided uh, 1.67 so it's gonna be 7.982 you will find it in your calculator so we can say it because it's 7.9 so basically you can say 8 it means guys we use approximation now in case of calculating the ratio so finally we have the ratio as you see three carbon to eight hydrogen to one oxygen so finally as you see guys that simplest ratio so it's a three and here is eight and here is one okay so finally the empirical formula is going to be you can see C3 H8 and O. So this is called the empirical formula for the compound. So guys, I think it's really important to copy or memorize the formula of this table or at least the steps to reach to the empirical formula. So here is empirical formula is gonna be like c3 h8 o and of course in this area you can show your work you can draw your table here you can design the table and do everything as we did later early. okay guys and take care i have another point to say also here because we have three elements carbon hydrogen oxygen so you find this one two three carbon in case if you have only two elements, it's a logic to have only two columns, C and H only, or whatever the two elements you have. I mean, according to the number of elements you have, you can design your table. So because here I have three, so I designed three columns for the elements. If you have two, you can design only two. Okay? Um, second one, letter P, this is compound S has the empirical formula C2H4O and the relative molecular mass. Take care guys, this is relative molecular mass, which is MR. And the one above, remember, is called relative atomic mass. So relative atomic mass will be for single atoms, but relative molecular mass will be for molecules, not for single atoms. Okay, so this is MR, guys. So this compound, which is C2H4O, its molecular formula, guys, is... 88 okay the mass of its molecular formula is 88 so calculate the molecular formula of compound base so now we need to calculate the molecular formula you know guys in the previous one above we calculated empirical 
and you know guys in the definition of empirical that it shows only the simplest whole ratio for the elements forming the compound or for the atoms forming the compound but in case of molecular formula actually guys we need now the real number of the atoms and the pipe as well of the atoms forming the compound or the molecule okay so in this case actually we need um, other three steps and you can also follow these steps through the next step you can use these three steps also to calculate any molecular formula first step now is to calculate the mr which is molecular uh, relative molecular mass to empirical formula now so we can copy it here simply so it's c2h4o c2h4o equals now guys i substitute only c equals 12 h equals 1 o equals 60 and you can pick it simply again from the periodic table c12 h1 and here this is o60 okay so here c is 12 and here we have to show times 2 plus here we have h h is 1 and this one times 4, because here you have times 4. And finally, plus O is 16. Okay, guys. So you can add them together. So finally, we'll find it equals, here it's 44. So the mass, the relative molecular mass of the empirical formula, this is the first step, and it's really important step. Number two, so now we need to calculate how many units of this empirical formula exist in, uh, existed in the molecular form. Okay, so we use this relation now. So we use the relative molecular mass of the whole compound divided the relative molecular mass for the empirical form. This expression is really important, guys, to calculate number of units. So, it's mentioned the question, it's 88, as you see, this is the uh, MR for the whole compound, so we use it now, so it's 88 divided MR for the empirical, the one we calculated now a little earlier, so it's 44, so I think it's clear it's 2 units, so we have 2 units, it means we have 2 units of this empirical formula, so finally the actual formula of the the whole molecular formula is 2 times 2 units times this empirical which is C2H4O so finally it equals 2 times 2 so it's C4H and this is 2 times 4 it's 8 and finally O times 2 so O2 so we can copy this is C4H8H2 here is C for H8 O2 and also you can show your work here okay the table or the steps whatever the okay, table or the steps so first of all number of units because here we have two marks so number of units of empirical formula and then the final okay guys hopefully it was clear guys thank you so much see you next video bye